हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज रविंद्र आई वेलकम यू टू माय चैनल वेयर आई पोस्टिंग द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू शेयर पॉइंट्स वन ड्राइव एम पावर ऑटोमेट हेयर इज द वन प्रॉब्लम दैट आई फेसिंग फ्रॉम फास्ट फ्यू डेज ओके आल्सो हैव अ सॉल्यूशन ओके व्हाट आवर क्लाइंट ऑन मोस्ट ऑफ द इन केसेस आवर क्लाइंट सेंड सीएसवी फाइल इन आवर मेल टू अपलोड दैट इन वन ड्राइव ओके आफ्टर दैट that csv file data we have to store in sharepoint okay if some repetitive records are there so we have to upgrade that records okay that type of scenario i have to achieve okay so what what procedure i have follow to achieve this type of scenario okay i will go through in this video okay so before to go through this, this video i will show you the demo how it's work okay first you can see <clears throat> this is our sharepoint list here title name email employment type and group are the fields here you can see and in this is my csv file employee data i will show this file to you this opening okay you can see this is the file and we are patching hrm id name contact email group employee name employee type and group these are the some fields we are patching over sharepoint list you can patch as unlimited for demo purpose i have taken only 5 okay uh, in one drive we have uploaded that folder okay from our uh, from our computer okay now i will show how flow is run okay for running the flow first we save our flow and test it okay flow is already created okay i will also explain how it's work okay for demo purpose we will run this our flow is running all conditions are run okay last condition is running apply to each here we are patching our data that's why it takes some time okay taking 15 16 17 okay our flow is successful run okay So first we will check our sharepoint list what data we are get here okay so our two records is already present so this record is upgrade okay if changes is there okay first two records are not created because two records are already present okay now we go and see the hrm okay this new records are created here okay in the first records we are not given contact and contact is also upgraded now okay so in the history i also show okay what is done here first condition is false second is also false and third condition is true because new records were added let's you can see true condition okay for first condition for first condition we update the item and for second condition we are only just creating the new items okay for third four fifth condition you can see here we created the item all details are here we are patch there create a new item similarly for here also okay that's how i will explain this flow how this flow is work okay for triggering action you can take any trigger action you can take power sv2 when item is modified created or share pen as per user condition you can take the trigger action okay And also you can uh, also take any get file content from sharepoint library or one drive or any automate process you can done the most important part is here from compose without using some premium connector okay so created this flow okay one step i have follow i will explain you one step by step okay? for uh, creating this file okay i have used the see corner to attach the document link block link to you in this video okay here first <clears throat> from first step what we have done we go and add an action here compose new line we go compose this is data operation okay from action we take compose action here okay uh, and rename that to compose new line okay in this step what we have done we have only go and place enter button create a new line okay break our line in this step okay we go for second step now and second step now we also similarly take compose action 
from here in compose action we split by line by new line for using this what we have done is first we rename it as compose of the date of the this we do okay for creating this input okay what we have done we go in dynamic content in dynamic content we go in expression we type a split split after that we select from dynamic content okay we go in dynamic content output from get file okay for that comma and select the output from compose new line okay this expression we have written there okay you can see and copy paste as per according to your needs okay also give this expression in block so i will share that link to you as well okay after that what we have done here step <coughs> second now we get the field names by using compose what field name okay. this field name we get hrm id name contact so employment and other things that we want that we feel that we get okay now we from csv top address here by using uh, for getting the field name we use similar compose action for taking compose okay action and rename it to get field name Now compose action. For taking that, what we have done here, okay. Similarly, for previous step, we use split, okay. Select the output, import split the new one, okay. We use split for that first in dynamic content, okay. Output from compose split new line. This output. now we split the result <clears throat> and take compose action given by this comma in order to comma we use this okay we get this result for taking the data okay what we have done in select option we have skip the first record by using skip action skip first record okay here is our dynamic content skip output is zoom is and we able to see for skipping the line what we have to use here skip output from compose new line that we have created already and you comma one we skip the first line from our record for mapping our data what we use output from com compose get fields name zero for the first column in our power <coughs> automate we count the columns from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay for that's why we take here zero similarly for the content okay what we use split items this for separating the <clears throat> the lines and use zero similarly for this also one for second column okay two three and as like that okay similarly process we have followed here for taking this compose action we have, what we have done we have take body from select and that much record we want that number we have given here okay if you have to create dynamic you can only test here body from select okay but i want only first 25 record that's why i have given here 25 after that we have to use parse json function okay up to this what you have to do we have to run the flow okay first to take the parse json output okay so from run after running the flow we have get so i will show directly how it works so to run we go and edit this in compose action what you have to do you have to copy this input by using control a and control c paste it in notepad so you can use this Control V. Okay. So go and edit this. Okay. 
in edit action use parse json output from compose action from this we have to take output and generate from sample go here paste that notepad code okay by using control v and press done okay by using this you can generate a schema here okay after that what we have to do we have to use apply to each condition okay in apply to each pass a body function from parse json and get items from sharepoint okay for updating and editing record that's why we take this get item field to check for data is matches with title or, or not if on the basis of this condition okay filter query title equal to hrm id in my case the title is employee id title is employee id this is a unique identity that's why i have taken title you can take email also here in filter query so on the basis of this the record will identify okay different record and which item you have to create or which item you have to update that will <clears throat> generate on the basis of this get item okay apply the condition here okay check whether the length output from get item okay from this body is equal to zero or not okay if it is zero okay then it's go and create a new item okay if it is not zero okay if record is already present in that case <coughs> it will update that existing record okay for creating item you have to go in add here take a action from sharepoint create item you your site address list name and if this output is not showing you okay from par json dynamic content type here hrm id okay you get par json okay then also it not showing then you have to go to the expressions okay control both c okay you have to go in expression and type this below expression so it can work okay if you are not able to see this field in your um, dynamic content then in expression type item apply to each and your column okay similarly for name email employment type and group okay contact for showing purpose i have not here updated but in i update item similar what you have to do okay only the id column from i update item you have to take output from get item okay from this step you have to take output from get item and check it is zero or not and after that you have want id from this okay title id that id we want and on the basis of that sharepoint id dynamic id that is already present we have patching patching the data and updating on the basis of this id okay this expression you have to type manually okay that's all about great of this flow okay i will show every step to you so you can do that if you have some questions you can ask me comment box also okay or mm, now all social media is for present in description box there you can connect with thank you friend okay, this is the flow i will run one more time to show you the updated context number okay for the existing link in previous step in previous step we are not updated context okay now we go and update the context of all the employees from this okay now our flow is running here page d for contact created see of contact of all the users that's all about friends thank you